Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here with her new haircut. Ow, ow! Oh! <laughs> and today's video is all about how to soak up those last days of summer with these easy hairstyles that look cute and take very little time. So if you didn't watch my last video, you might be a little shocked. I would recommend that you go and watch that. It will be linked above. I uh, got my hair cut. Hi, how are you? You like it? Cause I do. Today I'm obviously gonna be utilizing my hair, but also my sister Anna's long hair so I can show you these hairstyles on a variety of lengths and all of you can get an idea of how it might look on you. Like I said, these are super duper easy. I really like them and I think they're very cute and I'm excited to show you how to do them. So let's get into it. I even like my hair straight now, who is she? I think I just associated my hair straight before with the really bad high school days. <laughs> and now I'm feeling it so much more. Let's start off with some beach waves. I have actually done a whole lot of videos on how to curl your short hair when I had a wig and now my hair is actually short. <laughs> so I thought I'd mix it up just a little bit, do something new to start this video off. First things first, heat protected. So I'm trying out the Amika The Shield Style Extending Spray heat protectant and style extender in one. And when my hair was wet, I put in a bit of mousse to give me some more volume. So that's what I've got on my hair right now. Let's get curling. First things first, section the hair. So I have enough hair to curl right here. If your hair is shorter than mine, you might not. You can always skip this section if there's not enough hair to do anything with. And I'm just gonna take this random three quarter inch wand that I own and I'm going to curl my hair in alternating directions and leaving the ends off of the curling iron. and I am running my fingers through them after they come off the curling iron just to help them relax a little bit. I like the shape of the waves that this size curling iron makes, but I feel like if I let my hair cool in the ringlets, it might be too much. So it's a kind of happy medium. And now we let down the next section. I'm gonna leave kind of a mohawk at the top, bring everything else down. And now I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing. So it doesn't have to take a long time, just make sure that you're taking small enough sections that you can really get close to the root and the whole of it gets curled. So if you're taking big sections, sometimes it's just too big for the curl to actually affect the root. And if your hair is a little fuller and it tends to triangle, you could kind of skip or very barely curl this under section. That way you don't have as much filling it out and it won't make the hair as thick. When it's really full here, it can act kind of like a crinoline skirt <laughs> and make the hair at the bottom really big. I don't have that problem. I don't have a ton of hair, but if you do, there you go. Okay, so now for this last section, I wanna focus on creating a really cool flip here. So I'm actually gonna do it a tiny bit differently. First, we let it down and I'm gonna part it this way. So I'm gonna let it down on this side. And now I'm just gonna curl the hair starting right here and as I curl it, I'm gonna flip it to the other side and I'm gonna go in really little sections and stay really close to the root so I can get a lot of volume and get that really cool beachy hair flip going. We are still alternating directions, in case anyone was wondering. I wish you guys could have seen me trying to figure out this wave pattern that I wanted to do. I wanted like a super, almost natural looking textured wave. I pulled out three or four different curling irons. I was playing around with different techniques. It was a whole thing and a half. These are still a skosh tight, but I think once we put in some product and give my hair like five minutes, it'll be perfect. And then for the products, I'm first gonna do a texturizing spray. I'm gonna use the Kristen S1. This one's very fluffy and powdery to just get me a little bit more air in the hairstyle. Let's just like flip that over and massage the roots a little bit. <laughs> Down, and then we're gonna scrunch in some pomade. I'm gonna use the Kenra Texture Taffy. You could also use the Kristen S Depth Defining Pomade if you wanted to. Alrighty, fingers, rake, and scrunch. Et voila! <laughs> and those are the curls, I'm into it. I love that it's kind of still natural and tousled looking, but it's full of texture and body. It will be really easy to throw something onto this to create another hairstyle if you want, whether it's on the first day or the second day, whatever. It's cute, I'm into it. <laughs> 
And next, let's do this really quick, easy twist. First things first, tilt your head back and pick up the hair from your temples up. Gather that all loosely in the back and twist it a couple of times. Use one hand to hold that twist in place and then use the other hand to place bobby pins up and into the twist, making sure to crisscross them so that you can get extra hold. And now the top might look a little funny, so you're gonna kind of mess around with it, make it look better. What I'm gonna do is lightly pull apart right here to loosen the twist and then let down some little pieces around my face. So there is a very quick little twist that you can do. It's just a testament to like when you have a cute texture in your hair, just doing the simplest thing can make it even more of a hairstyle. So this is one of the ones I would really love for adding in on a second day. Just like throw a little twist in there, mess your hair up a little bit, you're good to go. Let's move on to this really quick and easy half updo. It's pigtails, guys. It's just pigtails. <laughs> this comes to you courtesy of Jen M, who's been rocking this and inspiring me for days. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna recreate it. First things first, center part. And then from here, I'm gonna take a section like this and bring it up to a pigtail spot. Now this, not the cutest right now. So what I'm gonna do is let down some pieces around my face, sweep this back, loosen it up and secure it with an elastic. And that's that side, and we repeat on the other side. And there's the hairstyle. It's like a little bit 90s, but still super wearable. I do like the pigtails pulled back a little bit so they're not like super like puppy dog ears from the front. That's kind of a lot of a look. But once they're like this, it's definitely like a wearable, cutesy throwback hairstyle. And now finally, let's braid some hair. <laughs> For this one, we're going to be braiding a kind of mohawk section across the top of the head. So start with a large section in the front and begin Dutch braiding back until you've just crossed over the top of your head. Then braid a couple of inches normally and secure it with an elastic. And now let's pull this baby apart. To finish it off, we're gonna take the resulting ponytail and wrap it into a bun very loosely and pin it in place. And there you go, there is some basic, easy, breezy hairstyle inspo. I actually wanna wear all of these in the upcoming week and I hope that you guys enjoyed them. If you do, comment down below and let me know if you have any special videos you wanna see with both shorter and longer hair, cause we can do that now. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit the like button to help support my channel. If you're new here, you can hit that subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa and all y'all can hit that bell to be notified every time I post a new video. But that's it for today, whether you are old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah, bye. So that you can get extra dupe. Extra dupe? Poo. Sorry, understairs neighbors. Downstairs neighbors. Body roll out.